Before sunrise, some serious preparation. My mom, she helps me get geared up with all my pads. Oh, well, tear them up and have fun. Right? All right. <laughs> then a helmet check for seven-year-old Annie. Pistol Annie, that is. Tape on skate toes. The same drill for big sister, a.k.a. Lethal Laney. And on to the local rink. I thought it was something the kids would better themselves as far as how to interact with other kids and the exercise and, and get their aggression out. <laughs> That's right. It's roller derby for kids. Take your mouth out, Art. Take your knee guards. Touch your helmet now. Let's play derby. We are lining up for our first jam of the house. I think being little is much better because if you're a lot taller and they hit you, like, you'll go down a lot harder. <laughs> And I like being small because I can go right through there. Go away! The lady's on a power jam. Mom's a fan too, though she worries about injury. I was shaking until it was completely over. Oh. I could feel the butterflies in my stomach. Safety is the reason the youngest skaters, Annie among them, begin as Tootsie Rollers. Start them off just getting used to what the rules are, used to knocking up against somebody, skating next to somebody. The first thing we do, and it sounds weird, is teach them how to fall down. At the seasoned varsity level comes the more rough and tumble version of a sport that's been around since the 1930s, but that's seeing a revival with this younger set. They're crazy. They hit real hard. Some hope these young skaters will help roller derby become an Olympic sport. But for now, Annie's just thrilled to win a bouquet of lollipops and the title of Tootsie Roller MVP. Great job, girl. The future of roller derby. Martha Irvin, Associated Press. Anderson, Indiana.